How is it going, lads and ladies? It is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and today I am making a video about Alvo. First things first, as always, anytime I'm talking about Alvo, I have to give the disclaimer that I'm a community moderator for First Contact Entertainment. I'll put this a little bit further away. So that means that whatever I say about Alvo, because Alvo is technically in competition with Firewall, which is developed by First Contact Entertainment, you can go ahead and take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. Although I do hope that you will know by now that I'm not going to just talk shit about a game or make up stuff about us or anything like that. Having said that, this video more than maybe any other video I've met about Alvo so far might come across as being negative. That's not the intention. Basically, this video is kind of asking a question, looking at things, analyzing some numbers or whatever, and, you know, just trying to vibe check, as the kids would say. Word. Basically, what sparked this on, I wanted to see what was going on in the world of Alvo. I wanted to, and then this is why I got the Chrome up here, let's say I go to YouTube. Okay, so what I was doing was, I just want to see who's streaming Alvo, you know? So I search for Alvo, and I pop up the filter for live, see who's live streaming us. And here we have the results. We got Mick Coles here, we know on the channel, how you doing Mick if you're watching. Uh, we've got this person, the drunk gamer, and we have THS viewer. So three people streaming virtual reality, or not virtual reality, Alvo on YouTube. Uh, so unless I'm searching things incorrectly, that seems to be the the extent of people streaming it right now. Now as I'm speaking, it's Sunday night. Sunday night for me here in Ireland, which means it's Sunday evening in America. We'll say. Uh, so that's just YouTube. Three people. A uh, total of, what, 10 viewers? I don't think this is any views or else it would say. So let's check out Twitch. Twitch.tv. You know, I searched for Alvo here. What makes waking up with... You don't want to hear that. And you find the game thing. And we've got one person here playing Alvo. As far as I can tell, maybe this is because the videos aren't tagged correctly, so they're not showing up in my searches or whatever. I'm very... And this is how sparkly I am right now, I apologize. The game hasn't even been out a month yet, so it was the 13th of April it released. We are now on the 3rd of May, so we're getting close to the one month anniversary of Alvo. And I was planning on doing like a, a vibe check one month later, but this, I don't know, is kind of concerning me a little bit because the game is still so fresh. We can go to Reddit, the official Alvo Reddit is slash Alvo Vior. And we can check how active it is. We can search by new. So the latest post nine hours ago, 14 hours ago, a day ago. Now this, not really a great indicator. It only has 300 members. Like a lot of people wouldn't use Redis or wouldn't care about Reddit or whatever. But then I use the Discord and I think the Discord is pretty active. I remember it was at launch. That Discord, I could not keep track. Like it was just comment, 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 comment. Whereas today it's a much more manageable kind of thing. It's this comments have slowed down a lot. Again, maybe everyone's playing us, and maybe not many people are streaming it compared to other games or whatever. But it's hard to get any kind of an indication of how game is performing with any degree of accuracy. So I, even though I'm using like streaming as a kind of a, a metric, I understand completely it's not 100% accurate. It's open to all kinds of misinterpretations or whatever, very variables I should say. But then let's let's do the same for Firewall for example, seen as it is kind of its closest competition. So YouTube, firewall, zero hour. We will go with live. I'm kind of offended that Petrifying Pumpkins didn't pop up immediately there. We've got two people streaming. Six watching this, five watching this, a total of 11 people inter well, watching firewall streams right now. And we'll do the same on Twitch, .tv, and we have four streams live over here for a total of seven viewers apparently point is i kind of expected firewalls numbers to be something like this because it is pushing on what three years now at the stage two and a half years but then the concerning part is that alvo isn't even well it's what three weeks old is it even three weeks i'm not too sure so is this something to be concerned about that's kind of the question i guess i'm asking here and i know it might come across as like oh hey look alvo's not doing well that's not the intention at all i want alvo to do well i want firewall and alvo to do well and the more healthy virtual reality multiplayer games there are the better for the industry 
as a whole that's what i want to see the question is what's going on here am i overblown this is this something you've noticed yourself are you someone who played alvo and then maybe you've dropped off and if so why have you dropped off or maybe you're still playing alvo you love us and it's just a matter of, well, just not as many people are streaming it for whatever reason. Maybe you're someone who's looking at the price tag and you're thinking, okay, when it's a bit cheaper, I'll go for Alvo. Keep in mind, of course, there's lots of factors to consider for why Firewall might have that many people streaming it right now. In terms of it was a PS Plus game back in February, uh, it's down to like $20, so it's half the price of Alvo right now, so it's a lot more easily obtained, I suppose, compared to Alvo right now. But I still think it's a little bit concerning. Maybe something needs to be done. I don't know what needs to be done. I know the Alvo developers have been very active in terms of updating the game. They've already put a bunch of updates out. They've improved things that needed improving. Uh, they've done a very good job there. So yeah, this is the video that I don't even know if I'm going to post this. I can already see people being like, Pumpkins is a fucking firewall shill, trying to throw dirt on Alvo. All I can say is that's not the case. Again, I want Alvo to be a success. I, like, I'm probably going to stream Alvo right now after I finish making this video. Uh, I don't know yet. I'm, yeah, again, I'm not... The more I talk about it, the more I think it might be a bad idea to put this video up. But if this is a potential thing that I'm kind of onto or realizing, then, you know, it might be worth talking about now instead of a few months down the line where it's too late to do anything about it. That's the kind of angle I'd be approaching it at. I don't know what to do. Maybe the price needs to be dropped. Maybe something needs to be patched or maybe... I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what needs to be done, but if, we're, if we want Alvo to be something long-term, if we want it to be viable, uh, then maybe speak up if you think something needs to be done. And feel free to tell me I'm completely like just overreacting if that's the case. Uh, which it very much could be the case. And then of course, you know, keep in mind this game is coming to other platforms in the future. Uh, so that will give the player base a boost, especially when they have crossplay added to it as well. So that should help. But, you know, we don't know when that's coming in the future. We don't want the PSVR audience to kind of die off too soon. And then it doesn't matter about crossplay if the audience is kind of dead there already, if you know what I mean. But yeah, like I say, just, just my honest opinion. It's more of a concern or a worry, and I'm hoping maybe I'm just overthinking this or taking it out of context or whatever. Maybe you think we should be getting ahead of it too to try and maybe do something about us. I don't know, I'm, I'm talking in circles here, I'm waffling. So I'm just gonna end the video here, I guess. Before I do, let me thank my Patreon supporters for helping me out on this channel. Their names are on the screen as we speak. In particular, the top tier Patreon supporters. Tradition, Pete Hawkins, Columbus Thomas III, Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid, and Crumb. Thank you very much for that continued support, lads. It is very much appreciated. If you'd like to help me out on the Patreon as well, you can do so. The link to that will be in the description. If not, like, co uh, comment, subscribe, all that usual YouTube and shite will be very much appreciated as well. Finally, before I go, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out, Decepticon.com, link in the description. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Please stay nice and moist.